All right, I'm out here in our battery uh, testing, and I have uh, I've got these cells hooked up into th three groups, so we get a 24 volt uh, system, and we're basically eight eight groups of three. Yeah, eight. No. Uh, We're 24, and we're basically, yeah, we're, we're groups of three, and we have eight groups of three. That's what we have here. Eight groups of three, as we can see from this. Okay, so uh, now, because our, our intelligent battery system will only uh, monitor, well, we can get it to come down to, uh, I believe we can get as few as 10 on it. But that's as low as 10 or 11. Uh, but so what we did is we just put extra batteries at the end and we just tapped off on this. So if you wanted to keep this system, we could probably set something like that up where we have the extra batteries uh, just to as placeholders. And if you look here, you, we're actually only using the first eight. And the rest are just sitting there. Uh, the neat thing with this management system is uh, you can tap on that and you'll actually get a, a data logging of the uh, past performance. That's the intelligent battery system. Now, uh, we have another system that we'll probably put on this guy. And that's what we call the mini BMS. And these are little regulators that go on each one. And basically they, uh, they all string together this way. And we have a little control board. And this little control board will work a relay, which that shuts our power off when these guys are either high or low. And that's the mini BMS system. And you can put as many, you can have 12 or 4, or you can have 1 on there. Uh, but we have to have this control board here. Which even though it isn't a lot of parts, yeah, it's a, probably an hour or so of time. And you also need a big relay. Our other situation with this is, that when things get out of either overcharged or undercharged, it cuts the system off and it won't start back until the till the over or under voltage is corrected. So our problem is then if you drained it all the way down, the charger wouldn't come on because the batteries are too low. Of course, you take the load off and they'll float back up a little bit and then the charger can catch them.